DeAndre Hunter has been playing amazing and I feel like the entire NBA is doing him a disservice by not talking about him. And it's surprising because Atlanta is a big market. A lot of people live there. You'd think a lot more media coverage would be around my man DeAndre Hunter. So before we start today's video, I want to hear down below, what do you think of DeAndre Hunter? And let's get into today's video. DeAndre Hunter just dropped a season high 25 points against the Timberwolves. And he, he's been shooting amazing. For the season, he's shooting pretty much 39% from three. And this game, he shot 50% from three with six attempts, hitting three of those. And the thing is, is I don't even want to talk about how his, obviously his shot has came around last year. We saw he was shooting 35% and he's taking the next step of being close to a 40% shooter. And coming in out of college, we knew DeAndre Hunter was going to be able to be an all-around player. Like literally was probably the most all-around player complete in his draft class. And that's why he was drafted fourth overall after playing three years at Virginia because of how fundamentally sound his game was. And he's a guy who makes very little mistakes. And in college, we knew he was a, he was a good defender. He's always been a plus defender. In college, he he he's never been stat wise. He's never made you bounce off the screen. But this year, I think he's a guy like this game. He had three steals. He was just all over. He's so lengthy. And he's 225 pounds, so he can go up against some power forwards because he's quick enough to go against quick power forwards and strong enough to stay with them. Small forwards, he can stay with pretty much every small forward in the league. And he's sometimes he shows athleticism to stay up with some, some to most of the shooting guards in the league. He's literally the defini definition of a guy who can guard one through fours. And it's not saying he's an amazing, he's not like Isaac Okoro or something, but he's a man that I think is the third star for this team if john collins does leave and it's trey young i feel like the pieces of the future it's supposed to be trey young cam reddish and trey young deandre hunter and cam reddish because i'm also a huge fan of cam reddish i believe that's the future and onyeko kongu maybe you throw bruno fernando at the center position if clint capella leaves I, i'm not 100 percent convinced by bruno but I don't know if they're going to keep John Collins, but I could I love the idea of a lineup consisting of Trey Young at the point guard position, Kevin Herter at the shooting guard position, DeAndre Hunter or Cam Reddish at the small forward position, and then the other one, let's say Hunter at the power forward position, and then you throw Clint Capella or Oneke Okongu at the center position. I just think that that lineup in the future will have will develop has the potential to develop and will be super good. And tonight was a great game against the Timberwolves. And it was a game they obviously should win, and they did win. But if we're going to move away from DeAndre Hunter being what I believe is exceeding expectations, being one of the most fundamentally sound all-around players in the league is the basis of this video. I think we can move on and go into another guy who... I really do do believe he's been playing a shooting guard. Sometimes he'll play small forwards, but he's mainly a shooting guard. Kevin Herter. Kevin Herter is now in his third season in the NBA. And last year, every se in his past few years, he's shot 38%. This year, people would say he's shooting worse, but it's not really. It's just like he's also been playing, I feel, like more inconsistent minutes. You could he's averaging more than his rookie year in minutes, but less than last year. And I think it's just because of how much talent they're working out the rotations. And I I don't know my opinion on Lloyd Pierce yet. I know a lot of Hawks fans don't like him. And I think they're still figuring out the rotations. But the past couple of games, like, see, he'll go a couple games with 30 minutes and then he'll have like back to back games with like 22 minutes. It's just it's just weird. I don't understand. I think you should give him more consistent minutes, like 30 minutes every night. But He's a guy that I believe should be taking eight to 10 threes a night because on the nights that he does shoot 12 threes, he makes five of them. He shoots 10, he makes three of them. That's fine. But like tonight he shot eight threes, he makes three of them. That's awesome. Give him, give him kind of the uh, Duncan Robinson green light. I think they would benefit tremendously from giving him a green light like Duncan Robinson. And I, I don't understand why they're not doing it yet. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I just want to hear your opinions down below. What do you think of the team? What do you think potential-wise? And, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for me today, guys. I really did enjoy making watching this game. I was making a video on, what do you call it, 
I w not making a video. I was actually doing homework, so I like this is a good break. But yep, that's it, guys. I hope you guys have a good one, because I know I will. Tell us, guys. Peace out.